Here's what refreshments look like. Brownies and snickerdoodle cookies. My other responsibility is to get the uh, coffee. Cause these guys go through a lot of coffee. Okay, well, I guess I'm cutting the uh, meeting short today. Leia sent me a message. She's not feeling good. So I dropped the refreshments off. I stayed for uh, the news and I'm heading out. I'm not really interested in the raffle that they're having or they don't have a guest speaker. So I've got nothing to stay and record. Otherwise, it's just boring meeting stuff that nobody really cares about. I did have an epiphany though while I was sitting there in the meeting. I'm kind of getting to the point in my life where I kind of want to be a member. I just want to be a member. I don't want to lead it. I don't necessarily want to to run it. I don't necessarily want to be the leader of, of a certain thing or own a certain thing. Like I've been doing this newsletter for two years, which basically means I'm the website guy and the newsletter guy and the email guy and the, all this other stuff. And I'm not doing any events. We're not going camping. We're not doing gun events other than going and shooting skeet and trap. And, and we're not going fishing at all. The rod is, is this big and the gun is huge in the, in the rod and gun club. But it's like, I kinda, I kinda just want to join a club and then just pay to do the events and that's it. I don't wanna to have to do the service aspect. At least until I'm, you know, real deep in it. <laughs> I, I'm noticing that and, I, and I'm getting a vibe that when you, when you bring up things like that, and this is not just this club, this is other clubs too. You know, when I say like, hey, why don't we do more events? They go, you know, well, you haven't planned one yet. See, I don't, I don't wanna be that guy. I, I wanna, I want somebody else to plan it for a change. I'm always planning something, or or my wife is always planning amazing trips, and I don't want to add any more to that. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to find a, I'm gonna have to find a different club, I think, to, to start spending my time in because I just I, I want to have fun, and I don't want to have to be in constant service or holding a position to do it. Why, why is it that there's other members of the club that they don't have to do anything but have fun, and I've got to be the one? That's, servicing something or other but anyway that's just me complaining i shouldn't be complaining because it is a good club and everybody there's really nice but anyways that's all i have to say about that so i don't know how leia's feeling this this could be the the end of the vlog for today because i don't know i don't want to put a camera in her face and have a camera all over the place if she's not feeling good and i'll be watching ben anyways what are you shaking your head for it's because you're looking at the screen huh look here look down there it says that it's fine no, don't touch it. <laughs> anyway, I was going back through my uh, old footage from the, the Rod and Gun Club, and I found something that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's a discussion that one of our, our medics, our EMT certified medic, was having. We purchased as a club a bunch of med kits for the different gun chair persons and trap and skeet and handgun, and that they keep with them in their trunks whenever they go to the event so that if anything were to happen, you know, they would have these med kits. And they're special designed by this uh, first aid EMT for us. And it's a cool little talk at the end about quick clot, something that uh, something that I have talked about in the past on gun chats and, and other places. And it was just nice to have like, you know, confirmation of, of what I had been saying for a long time. But hey, that's, just, you know, just me. Just to add to that, I don't see it there. What are, what's your opinion on quick clot? I would never use quick clot. And the reason I wouldn't is because Quick Clot, when it was first brought out, was designed as, and not because of being pompous, it was an upper medic level skill set. And it was determined to be used in case something went wrong. And what happened was, it was California that screwed the whole thing up. Um, California Highway Patrol's number one thing is not your safety, it's keeping the freeway lanes clean. And they got really mad because fire departments and medics often take up two or three lanes to ensure the scene's safe and that we've got everything cleared out and can get you out. And that ticked off the highway patrolmen because they get docked and yelled out the long there's traffic. So they went through about 10 years ago now and became all of them EMTs. And their answer to everything was whatever was quickest to get the person off the road. So they started dumping quick clot. And what quick clot is, it's an agent that goes in and takes the blood and swells up. The problem is, depending on where the injury is, it's also going to take a lot of the tissue, organs, people lost organs, people lost their lives. They dumped it in people's lungs. Um, and so, unless you know what you're doing, unless you have a real good understanding, you can look at somebody and know what's going on, it's just not a good thing. That's the granule, but what about the sponge? Same idea. Same thing. Mm -hmm.
it leaks chemicals in. So, and here's the thing is, how much have you trained for? I mean, for me to teach people, I had to go through 100 hours with QuickClot. You know, but any of you can buy it on the market. Right. You know, but I have to have that because the state doesn't want to get sued. I mean, I think it's just common sense. You know, I've never raced a Lamborghini, so if you know you hand me the keys to it, Josh, I would not go out and try to race it because I don't know what I'm doing with it. Most time you don't need quick pot, you can go ahead and take yeah. out the, the main artery or vein or whatever it's leaking in you. Right. And, you and the only way you would need that is again that comes back to you're way, way out in the boonies, you're not gonna get help for several days, then you're making decisions on a total different rationale. So but here really bandage should cover. Yeah, it's really Most bandage. Situations Here's the way I would look at it right now in this club. With the stuff that I provide, plus you get your paper and pen um, and some more ice packs, if you lost a patient going through the basic motions, yes, it's tragic. Yes, it will take us time to recover from it. But I bought kits designed the way I've always wanted my medics to feel. I did everything I could. Take it easy, guys. Uh, if you can, I appreciate thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Go back and look at the rest of the vlogs. You know, the last two days haven't been that glamorous because I've just been busy, right? You know, family come back, came back, have another time to work on the projects that I want to work on. Friday should be fun, though. I'm hoping to to do major, major edits and then all the voice edits for uh, the absent movie and something else fun that I hope I can swing on Friday. Yeah. Alright guys, tune in for that. Thanks a lot. See ya. Flame on! Hot. Hot.